All right, so in previous video, I want to show you, show you what I get. In previous video, I told you that I'll be doing the unboxing of the Xenoblade Chronicles 2, the special edition that I got. And here is the early copy right here. <laughs> I got mine a little early, uh, uh, before the midnight release, so it's pretty good. And I got that at GameStop, cost me around 100, 100 uh, it cost me around like, like 100, hundred dollars plus tax I don't know so here's the front of the front of the front of the package here's the back of the package this is actually the first first you know Blade Chronicles I'm playing I remember there's a I remember Squaresoft they made a uh, Xeno Gears they made a uh, but after Xeno Gears was actually uh, was actually released it was a pretty good it was a pretty good title but it was actually released to other companies and and Nintendo and some other companies they made all the I've heard they made the first Xenoblade game. Uh, you know, I'm gonna really check on the Xeno, Xeno Gear series. So yeah, the Xeno Gear was actually once a SquareSoft, SquareSoft PS1 game in the back in 1998, and Xenoblade Chronicles was actually re released since 2010, 2010 though. So, and there's a Xeno. Chron Xenoblade Chronicles X, and uh, there's there's a lot of Xeno Xeno series, so I managed to pick this one up. I thought I thought I had to pick up this one because I thought it looks cool. Let me show you one more time. Here's the back of it. There's a lot of stuff, and we got a lot of characters right here. Wow. Let's. So uh, before I want to open this up, uh, uh, it's almost just want to let you know it's almost Chris. It's almost Christmas very soon. Uh, and I also and I also got some free stuff at the at, at my local mall at South Center. I got uh, I got some Christmas specials right here. I got this thing. Happy holidays right here. I also got the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon post the postcard right here. I thought it looks pretty cool. And here's in the back. Here's the Ultra Sun and Moon. Uh, Legalio and the other po and. Sogaleo and Lunas, Lunalas, right here. Snack. And I also got some uh, stickers of the Ever Oasis right here. Pretty nice. I might pick up the Oasis game some other time. And here's some other. Here's the Pokemon, Pokemon tournament uh, bookmark. And I also got one of these flip cards. Pretty nice. These are like advertisements that you want to pick up the, uh, pick up some video games for other stuff. And I also got the uh, gift wraps right here. Here's the front, and they're pretty cool. I managed to pick these one up. I thought they looked nice, so managed to, and I thought they're really cool. Also, and also, lastly, I'll be doing uh, maybe around uh, next next week after I'll be doing the movie review of the Star Wars: The Last Jedi. So look. For Look forward to that one very soon. So yeah, let's. So yeah, and right now let's move on the unboxing. What I got. So let's open this up. Now this looks pretty interesting. When I looked at the trailers, it looks really, it looks really, really good. Oh, uh, so there's an antenna at the bottom, the top right here, and, and there's some bottom stuff. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff. Whoops! <laughs> wow. Haha. <laughs> Oopsie. Sorry. Oh crap. Here's a steel book. Here, yeah, I thought it looks nice. Here's front, here's the back. This is actually the first steel book Nintendo Switch we've got. This one is really, really small. You compare it to the to the regular steelbook with DVDs and video games, they they look very they look very similar, but this one's a very different cover art. I thought it looks really nice, and uh, and it comes with that sim card sim card right here. And here's the cool part. It looks nice, right? It's still, it's 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 different. This is a very different steelbook. I hope. I hope Nintendo would prom would make more of these some other in the future though. So yeah, I, I like this. And we also got the uh, 
soundtrack in the, the front of it. Here's the back, back of it. Uh, let me open this up. After when I'm done with this, I'm gonna test out the game to see how good it looks. I hope they got a dual audio because I really want. Because when it's in JRPGs, I always wanted dual audios. And the Legend of Zelda is a, is a J, it's like an RPG game, but a very different look. So yeah, here's a Xenoblade soundtrack. Let me line this up perfectly. Oh yeah. Here's all the names. Here's the disc. What it looks like. If I want to pull this one out. And come on. Come on. I don't want to break it. Oh man. Looks really nice right here. And when you look in the bag, it looks pretty damn cool. Okay. Yeah, you'll get to see the whole cover. It looks really nice. And look at the box art right here. Here's the cool part about the box art. See the lines right here? I like this. When you put this thing in here, it still looks pretty cool. I still like the steel book. It's still nice. And let's go with the art book. This is something pretty, pretty interesting. It kind of reminds me of a manga, manga book. Wow. Oh. Oh. Here's the uh, front of this. Here's the back of it. Here's all the text around here. You know, there's a, quite a lot of stuff around here. Holy shit. All the anime, all the anime work is so brilliant. Uh, there's uh, the, the male protagonist. Male protagonist is uh, Rex. Pyra, the female. Uh, Mithra. There's a lot of concept arts, and there's uh, Neo, the cat ears, and there's Tora. Tora, if you don't know what that, that name is, it sounds like a familiar Japanese name. It's a name of tiger. Poppy. We got uh, all that stuff in there. Uh, Mor Morag. Uh, uh, Brigid. Brighead and Zeke, eye patch. You got a lot of stuff. I can't show you everything in the art because so many stuff. Uh, Pandoria, uh, Van Van Ham, Rock. You got a lot of characters. Jin, Jean, I like to call him. Models, Wanted, Felon, Akos. There's a lot of concept arts in Kakatora. There's like a lot of stuff that I want to show you guys, but I can't show you everything at once. Wow, I really like the manga art. They they look really nice overall. Pretty happy with it, you know, how the way it looks. A lot of concept arts everywhere. I can barely see this. Uh, you guys look, look at it for yourselves because I can't show you everything at once. Yeah, I gotta say, it looks really cool. Uh, it looks really cool. I highly recommend this if you... I highly recommend this if you're really a Xenogears fan. Uh, these are quite a few stuff that I gotta show you guys. I showed you the free stuff first, and I showed you the the unique one, the bigger ones right here. The, the game, the book, and this. So, uh, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think? Do you love this? Do you hate this stuff? Do you guys enjoy, enjoy the series of the Xenogears? Uh, let me know in the comments below, uh, excuse me, like, favorite, share, subscribe, uh, follow me on Facebook, uh, uh, follow me on social media around Twitter and, Twitter and Instagram to see more photos, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the videos, I won't be making a lot of videos this much, I'll be doing stuff like this around once a month or, or a week, so, uh, please be sure, 
make sure to be updated. I'll be doing more stuff like this some other time around around next year. I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, and uh, you bought this. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about the this stuff or the game? I might buy some. I might buy some more Nintendo Switch accessories. I might buy some more stuff. Anything, anything new. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want. Uh, which product do I wanted to unbox or review though? So I hope you guys enjoy the video and and the weird part is right now YouTube has been a pretty pretty odd spot right now with the whole whole the unsubscribe thing. So yeah, thanks. So yeah, thanks a lot YouTube for ruining that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, and, uh peace the fuck out.